What is up you geezer blowtie geezers? It is Chris Modern 9 here. How have you guys been doing? It's been like two weeks since I last uploaded. I've been doing great thanks before you ask. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been it's been ages, guys. I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded in the last two weeks. I mean, I was thinking during those two weeks about, uh, you know, because it was the international break, I thought maybe, you know, I'd do a couple of videos regarding the England matches, you know, the uh, Nations League defeat, sadly, against Spain, and the uh, the game against Switzerland. But compared to, you know, when I watch Chelsea, you know, I kind of like casually watch England, you know, during the um, international break. I mean, it's only like during the World Cup that I kind of like want to do videos for England. Um, and I don't know, man, it's, it's not really competitive, uh, international friendly. So I think maybe I'll just leave those. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to get more views for these Chelsea videos anyway. You know, the England videos tend to sort of like have a little bit of a back burner. A little bit like the esports videos, but anyway. On to more serious matters, though. Cardiff, 4-1. I can't really complain. First five games of the season have all been wins. Cheers, sorry. You're an awesome guy. Uh, <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, let's just talk about what we've just watched. Let's just start at the very beginning. Uh, a bit shaky. Uh, we went 1-0 down because of some absolutely terrible defending from the set piece. I mean, there's one guy to blame. And I'm going to talk to him a little bit in great depth. David Luiz. Now, David Luiz, I'm sorry, he is just not not the same player he once was. He's past it, I'm afraid. Um, like, I, I'm not a big fan, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, where the hell is players like Christensen? I was under the impression, right, that Sari would take Christensen under his wing, give him a few games, try him out, you know, on the back of a... A decent season for Christensen. Yeah, despite the fact we didn't do very well, you know, Christensen was technically our best defender last season. And I thought that, you know, he was going to get a couple of games. And, you know, just to follow up from that that season, you know, to, to further improve his development. But he hasn't played. And we continue to play people like David Luiz, who have, is just not at the races. And... Majority of the beginning of that first half anyway, when we were under the cosh, when we were a goal down, you know, he was terrible. He was abysmal. So, I don't know, man. I think maybe David Luiz needs to be dropped for a couple of games and maybe give Christensen a chance, man. Because we really, really need to give players like him an opportunity to further their development. You know, after a, it was a bad season last season, but Christensen was a real standout. And I thought maybe we'd give him a bit, maybe a bit of a chance. But, pfft. You know, it's sorry, man. You just need to be patient. You know, that's that's the most important word. And speaking of patience, speaking of all that, we end up going 2-1 up at, before half time. Some great goals by Eden Hazard, though. And this is the thing. Up front, who have we got? Olivier Giroud. And I was saying, I said at the beginning of the game, you know, with this, this work rate that Giroud has, he is 10 times better than Morata is. Um, you know, first eight minutes, he was getting stuck in. He got a he got a he got a header in. He got a bit of a chance, and more importantly, he worked really well up front with Eden Hazard, and he was the sole reason why Hazard got those goals, especially the second one. It was all about that patience, you know, that build up, that play that we have up front, and it worked to a T. It worked to an absolute T, especially, you know, the the, the combination of between Hazard and Giroud. Morata just doesn't do any of that. I'm sorry, he just doesn't. He's just too weak compared to Giroud, who's up there in the defence faces and defence can't handle somebody like him. And well, Eden Hazard, you know, putting his chances away of significant importance. 2-1 um, up at half time. And then the second half, it was just all about the waiting game again, you know. Uh, well, it was 2-1 for a majority. Uh, and then later on, we had uh, the, the goal scorer for Cardiff, Sol Bamba, bring down Willian in the box. Penalty. Uh, Eden Hazard converting the penalty 3-1. Hazard gets his hat-trick. And then, Willian, with an absolute perfection of a strike. Placement was unbelievable. Into the top corner, 4-1, game over. You can't argue with that. What were the negatives of that second half? What were the negatives of the overall? I think our defence needs a lot of work. <sighs> David Luiz needs to be binned, I think. He, he needs to be, like, he needs to be dropped. I think Christensen needs an opportunity. Like, I can't understand why we don't give people like that an opportunity. But other than that, solid performance. First five games of the season. 
All of them have been wins. The only problem is Liverpool have done the same. Uh, they, they beat Spurs at Wembley earlier in the day, sadly. I mean, well, it's well it, between us and Liverpool, I think, I mean, obviously they're top of the table because, of course, they've got the better goal difference. Um, but it was all about getting the win today. You can't argue. I mean, you just can't argue today. Uh, Kovacic came off with a with a, I think it was maybe a, of a muscle tear. I think maybe I, I don't know why he came off, but I think he sort of like run his race. And Barkley came on. Uh, I mean, even when Barkley came on, it was still a strong midfield. You know, we still we still had Jorginho, we still had Kante doing work. It was all good at the end of the day. Uh, we got the important three points. Uh, same again, lads, against West Ham. Now West Ham. Despite the fact that they have had a poor start to the season, I still am a little bit worried about West Ham because, well, we were here last season uh, against West Ham when they were when they weren't doing very well and we were having mixed results. You know, we we were getting wins, but then when we went to West Ham, we lost. So we were chasing the game majority and well, we ended up losing. Let's hope that uh, lightning doesn't strike twice again. Uh, and then after West Ham, we got Liverpool. Uh, at home, so well that would be a nice uh, top of the table clash, won't it? I think we've also got a Europa League tie against Payok Salonika as well. So during that as well, so a couple of difficult games coming up for us. Uh, so I mean, let's uh, let's reap in the rewards today. Five victories, nothing to get angry about just yet. <laughs> um, let's be let's be happy and jolly for today. We've got five wins. Would have been nice to get a clean sheet, but you can't have everything. Uh, so there you go, guys. What do you think of today's game? Down in the description down below. Uh, I know it's been such a long time since I've made a video on here. Well, you know, you know me. Uh, as soon as I start making a video and I haven't done it in a long time, I start to hesitate. I start to muffle my words up a little bit. In fact, this isn't the first take that I'm doing. So I was hoping and praying that this, this whole take would be good. But, um, you know... It's not all perfect, you know, but uh, yeah, overall 4-1, good result today. And uh, yeah, let's hope we do the same thing against West Ham. I mean, it's going to be a difficult game, whether West Ham are good or not. Um, there's no easy game in the Premier League. Let's not forget that. Uh, the Premier League is a very, very competitive league in football. So yeah, there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you possibly... Uh, at the end of the West Ham game, unless there's some esports stuff that I want to talk about. And uh, yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hey, and peace.